Welcome back to Spooky Time with Eddie. Today, I want to look at the scariest backroom levels that no one really talks about. Out of all the backrooms games and all the backrooms videos that we've reacted to on this channel, you kind of know what to expect. Level zero, pretty much what everyone thinks of when they think of the backrooms. You got the pool rooms, the party room, the library at the end, level 94, and a few others. But there's like 2,000 backrooms levels, and I think I found some scary ones you guys might like. This is level 232. We're starting out at a grocery store. An infinite grocery store. I mean, at least you'll never go hungry here. <laughs> you got infinite sodas to your right. You got lucky charms on the left. Unless there's entities here. This could be one of those peaceful ones. But this is kind of creepy, just like thinking about how this could just be infinite. No mames, wey, mira. This is like the infinite grocery store trip. You know how most of you probably hate going to the grocery store with your parents because it's boring? And you got better things to do at home? Like playing the new season of Fortnite or whatever, like, there's better things than this, the new season of Fortnite, like, I don't know, the new Mario Kart DLC. Yeah, this is a true nightmare, being stuck in the grocery store forever. It's like you have access to all of the gift cards you could buy right there. Bunch of, like, Nintendo gift cards you can't even redeem because you can't go home. At least you can get fat. Real fat. All the food you want, baby. Ready to eat. And no one to tell you, no, you can't grab that. You can be a glutton to your heart's content. Mira nomás. If they got the little arcade machines in the front, you can just go to the cash register, get some quarters, play the arcade games, do it over and over and over and over. This is kind of creepy. Oh, here we go. They made it to the exit. Can you leave? Is that blood? I, I feel nostalgic and a little bit scared. That's always how I feel like with these kinds of videos. Is this a way? It doesn't work. It's, it's glass, though. You could break it. But look outside. There's like nothing out there. I feel like I've been here in VR somewhere. Maybe in my dreams. I feel like I've been here before. Oh, God. Oh, he tried breaking it. Yes. The glass is unbreakable. I forgot it's the back rooms. Physics don't typically work the same. He's trying to escape. Take You might attempt to use the exit. Yo, I got chicken skin, fool. Is this so? Orale, wait, correle! It's one of them fools with the TVs on his head. He's coming for you. Uh, where do you run to? Where do you actually go? It's infinite. This shit doesn't end. Wait. <laughs> oh shit, it's one of them smiling fools with the lit up faces. Run, cabron! Grab a box of Lucky Charms, eat on the way, cause you got a lot of running to do, my boy! If Baliste Mari, we. Baliste Mari. Here we go. There he is. You're dead. That was good. First of all, being stuck in a grocery store like that is something straight out of nightmares. Even without the lights being turned off, it was already scary and creepy. But when the lights turn off, it's even worse. Because you never know what lies in the darkness. 
I think the scariest thing about grocery stores, especially when you're younger, is strangers. Losing your mom and dad and then not knowing where they're at is one of the most terrifying things as a kid. And then reliving that shit in an infinite fashion? No, hombre, wey, no mames. Now, I looked up level 30, 232 on the wiki, and it brings me to a totally different room. So this is the Field of Forgotten Forts, not the infinite grocery store. So I wonder if uh, the person who made this video probably just used random numbers? But, Ruster, good job. That was definitely a new backrooms level that I'd never seen before. Okay, next is by the same person. This one is backrooms level 11. Backrooms found footage. Okay, we're in the city now. Is this like an infinite cityscape? I fucking love the backrooms, dude. There's so there's so many infinite possibilities for content and uh love, 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 love. <laughs> the infinite echo? What is this? <laughs> Listen, fool. I know I'm guilty of this when I play horror games, but if you find yourself in an infinite cityscape in which you don't know where you're at and you could potentially get shot or worse. You could see a naked person running at you. Don't just give away your position by saying, Hello? Alright, it's getting creepy. Oh, shit! Oh, this is like, uh, Inception. That's crazy, man. I've never seen this backrooms level. Oh, they reached the edge of the map? I didn't even know you could do that. It's just a concrete jungle. Backrooms level 11. Concrete jungle. <laughs> level 11 is a sprawling, desolate cityscape of monolithic buildings and winding asphalt roads. Is there any entities? The unventilated interiors of the level structures contain bizarre, often nonsensical layouts, twisting and winding into confusing corridors with odd, out-of-place furnishings. Level 11 appears to be entirely devoid of life. The majority of those who have explored the level and returned have described it as a large enough to hold hundreds of thousands or even millions of residents. Despite this, such reports also detail the complete lack of any apparent life within it. Even plant matter. Let's go back to the video. So it's, it's just a dead place. Oh, now it's nighttime. Oh, shit. Are there entities here? I didn't read anything about entities in the wiki. I thought there wasn't any animals. Where did the crows come from? Alright, I'm gonna stop. It's just like a, a reimagination or like a... <laughs> Doesn't have to be exact. Amo! Voy por ti, güey! Why'd you pick up the camera if we'll just run? Something's coming for him. Something is there. Gays. Ah! It's daytime now. Does it just happen all of a sudden? <laughs> Look at that building. <laughs> That's fucking epic! going in the elevator. Dude, that elevator looks like it's gonna take you to hell. You go in that elevator, you're gonna end up in Ohio. Where does he end up? Let's see. Oh, God damn it! He ended up in level zero again! <laughs> it never ends. This one is by Shed. Crushed. Crushed? 
This is level 6664, which there is no info on the wiki about because Backroom's levels supposedly only go up to level 1999. The cool thing about this is that the community can just make their own interpretations of what a Backroom level could be. And I think this is a good example of it. It's like a bridge you're walking on. It almost feels nostalgic. To me, this is like the dream course stuff that just makes me go, I want to go walk on this bridge. Even if that music's playing. Okay, never mind. That's scary. Run. Correle away. Where do you run to? That thing's just infinite. Can you not be one of them potato people and point the camera forward? Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> it's pictures of horses. <laughs> Any entities in this place? It's like a peaceful park. You get to look at really nice scenery. Nothing to complain about in this level. Oh, he fell into the grass. See, this is peaceful as shit. This is like the backrooms level I want to end up in. Yeah, it's one of those things where it appears peaceful on the surface, just like level 94, and then all of a sudden, bam, it's nighttime, and you got motherfuckers. There's knocking at your door. Or you got like leeches with smiley faces coming out the river. Getting ready to suck on your toes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's my favorite so far, but that's just because I like the dream core aesthetic. Next one's again by Rush. Man, Rush has been making some bangers. This one is level 558. It's my favorite place! It's the suburbs! The, the dream core place! This is... And now this is a backroom level I want to go to. This one right here. I know I talk a lot about level 94 being one of my favorites, but this one... This one's up there, above level 94 for me. Look how peaceful it is. Look how nostalgic that looks. I don't give a fuck if some entity like Cat in the Hat looking as gonna stand at his front porch and stare at me while I walk by. I don't mind if... <sighs> Never mind, I do mind. Now with noises like that, I'm running too. Screw that. Out! A la chingada wey, correle! Go inside, go inside, go inside. I want to see the inside. Oh, come on. I wanted to see the inside. <laughs> I love how it's like daytime. It makes you feel like you're safe and then you're not. There's something unsettling yet comforting about it. And it's been a year since I started exploring this, these kinds of videos and I'm still obsessed. <laughs> this one is Backrooms Level 22 found footage. We're in a parking lot again. This one's different though. What's that? Listen. Someone's crying. This one's definitely scarier than most of the other ones. Hell no, you start hearing noises like that, run, fool. Imaginate. Alright, here we go. He found somebody. There's somebody under that light. It's that fool again from the store! He chased you outside into the parking lot, fool! You thought you escaped! <laughs> Hell no. Look at that! It's infinite. Where do you run to? It's the same situation as the grocery store. Here 
Here he comes. Oh, did he fall off the edge? He's gonna end up in level zero. Nope, it just ends there. Okay, uh, this one is called the Neon Arcade, and it's by GateSync Research. I was only uploaded eight days ago. Is this like a new created room? I couldn't find anything on the wiki about this either. Yo, this is kind of cool. Gives me some, like, uh, Stranger Things vibes. We're entering the arcade. You got the ski bowl. Please let there be some entities in here, fool. There's something oddly satisfying about this place. Here we go, we got- we got a lonely arcade that's working. You're alone in the arcade? What do you do? Fuck it, play all the games. Look! If something comes out of the darkness and kills you, you're gonna be dead anyway. Might as well die playing some games. Having fun. You know, like, hey, yo, hold up, entity number 36527. Let me just finish this last round of skee ball before you kill me, please. I'm sure if you ask nicely, they'll let you go. Here, before you have my guts, can I go and play a round of Mortal Kombat real quick? As a matter of fact, come play some pinball with me. You got any quarters, by the way? Ah, oh, we found the arcade exit. Where does this lead to? The back rooms of the back rooms. The back rooms of the arcade. That's scary. A spider might fall on you from above or some shit. Cuidado. I need some doors like that. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool as shit. Okay, creepy. All of a sudden, not so creepy no more. Yo, they got food that way. Go see if they uh, if they still got food. We've looked at two back rooms levels that don't allow you to go hungry. Maybe they got some infinite pizza, some Berbers. Mmm. Yo, this is, uh, some real good work on the rendering and the art style of this, because I know this is CGI, and it's done very well. Alright, now I got creepy. It's just a void of darkness. Alright, that's it for the arcade. That one was a little bit unsettling. Depends on who you are and what you're scared of, but I don't know. Do you guys like these kinds of videos where we uh, take a deep dive into alternative backrooms levels that no one really talks about? I wanted to highlight some obscure backrooms levels and things that the community has come up with that most people don't even know about. But that's it. What did you guys think of the video? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like. I'm once again left with a nostalgic feeling and I'm probably going to look up Dreamcore compilations on YouTube while I eat a burger. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.